what up, everybody? You're now tuned into the true. Nah, it's not the true definition of sports fanatic. It's candid conversation. That's how I know I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm tired. This holiday season has really. It's not been tough. You know, been around family. Things been good. But um, last night was a trip. Hey, those. Hey, they've been arguing about kitchen sets online. Uh, uh, uh Sean. Oh, yeah, <laughs> talking about putting them together and stuff. And I feel that pain now. I'm part of the crew now. I'm part of the dad crew now. I was putting together stuff. I don't even have no kids of my own. And I've been putting putting together stuff, man. So, man, happy holidays, everybody. Hope you had a um, good Christmas. Yes. Um, hope you didn't find the bottom of the bottle too many times over the holidays. But even if you did and you were responsible, I ain't mad at you. You know what I'm saying? I am not <laughs> mad at you at all. <laughs> I needed so to find all the money I spent. <laughs> oh man, yes. <laughs> oh my yes. god, man. I'm so glad it come once a year, man. Good lord, man. Jesus. Yeah, I, they, they took a nice the your, your kids took a nice little chunk out your pockets, man. For boy, sure. Boy, look at here. PS5, man. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's hop. That, them PS5s is highway robbery. Just robbery. Yeah, and that's a that's a grand off top. And that's for the regular one. Off the four hundred dollar one, that's a grand. Off rip, man. Crazy, yeah, crazy, man. crazy. But you yeah, know, man. Christmas, man, good. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas mm-hmm. ain't Christmas ain't for me, man. It's for them, bro. You know, so I didn't have my yeah. time. <laughs> and the yeah. kid, you know, it's done. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah. So man, so y'all see the title today: Better Late Than Lost. You know, so today's topics, you know, we're going to talk about how it's better to find out things later on than to not find them out at all and to be lost, you know, um, you know, and that that can be in many different areas of life, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, one of the most popular ones, ones we talk about the most is because um, I guess it's our dealings and it centers around us, um, uh, us as a people and that's relationships. And, you know, all manner of relationships, uh, but specifically um, romantic relationships, you know, I mean, it, that's the easiest one. I think that's the one that people can identify with absolutely the most is that you 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 rather find out late than to not know at all um, when it comes to your partner. And whether it's the shady dealings they're doing, uh, things they try to hide from you, um, they come back from their past, uh, things they're currently doing. Um you know, I know people who, you know, they were in relationships and guys who didn't know that they were really being disrespected. And it wasn't until somebody else pointed it out that they woke up and they were like, oh, man, she's she's been disrespecting me for a very long time. Yes. Yes, she has. You know, now they know now. Now, you know, you correct that behavior and move forward. You know, let them know, say, hey, that that's not acceptable. I will not accept that. Um, right. But it's it's. Like like you said, so many so many different things. But as far as like uh, relationships, I think that's the one that hits people hardest the most. So I think that has the um, some of the um, you gonna get the most heartbreak and the most pain from those situations and those dealings when you find out things that other people already knew that you did not know. Right, 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 man. You know, um, it's you know, especially with the relationship things, man. I mean. I've been on both ends of it. I've been the the Dewey, and it's been done back to me, you know. And it's just, it's it's never good. It ain't never good when you, you know, they get what's the what's the saying, man? They say, uh, you know, people say, uh, you you're not sorry until you get caught, and you know all that other stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, I've been on both ends of of that spectrum. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I'm not. That's I I just have you know I've I've done it and it's been done to me you know, but uh but when you in the dark about it, it it kind of hits you hard, you know yeah. it, it it uh it it's it's all it almost feels like a, a sucker punch, you know um but uh for men, you know as I've gotten old I learned that you got to uh if you if 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 it's done to you and you're a man. Let's say a woman did it to you. You have to, of course, initially, emotionally, emotions going to kick in. You know, you're going to be heated. You're going to be hot. You may say something that you may not need to say. But then the thing about it is you have to, at some point, calm your mind, calm your thought process, and then go and talk to that person, you know, 
in a respectable manner so you could guys can get some closure um but you're not gonna get no closure when you are heated yelling and screaming and doing all this stuff because you know for men it's it's real important for us to really handle our emotions you know yeah. um you still got to look at the situation like okay <clears throat> this person <clears throat> they had some well he, the, the whole thing about it is is getting to the root of it well you know why did you do that you know, mm -hmm. uh, I want to know the whys. I'm, what what was the cause? I mean, you know, and for me, once I found out the why, once we get to the root of the problem, I'm squashing it. I ain't going to be bringing it up every other week or every other day or every other year. Once we get down to the bottom and I can look at in your in your face and the reason if something goes wrong and I'm calling in the dark about anything, I want to look that person in the eye. I want to look that person in the face. And I want to have a conversation, <clears throat> no matter who <clears throat> who it is, because you can't hide by text, you can't hide through the phone. When that person's in front of you, you can see remorse, or you can really kind of hear the remorse. You yeah. know, there's some people, man, when they do wrong, they have no remorse at all. They just, you know, they get caught up and be like, you know what? It's almost like they are totally <laughs> nonchalant about it. Oh yeah, I yeah. did that. I did that. I'm like, well, dang, you know, you, are you sorry about it? I mean, are you remorseful about it? You know, um, and that's a different dynamics, man, because when a person has no remorse, I pretty much they don't give a damn about you anyway. They never did. You know, they was just doing what they needed to do to get what they needed to get, you know. Yeah. But like my grandma used to always say, which is very, very true, because I didn't got caught up in that many times. What's in was done in the dark gonna come to the light sooner or later. Oh, yeah. you know, so, yeah. um, but yeah, man, but, it, but just like the title of the show, better late than lost, you know, just completely because when everybody knows and you don't know, mm. that's a, it's rough. That's a rough. One. That's yeah. Rough. So uh, the, 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 this is a positive spin to this. The positive things, the positives are obvious, you know, that's a positive. So right. A lot of people don't know. So what do you do with that information after you know it? You talked about what you do at, with that information after you know. Look at it as a positive. Um, it is a good thing. You have been done a favor, um, something that hasn't that isn't done for many people because a lot of people want to keep people in the dark. So for you to find something out, especially relationship wise. Oh, yeah. Um, it's it's a. Um, you you get you that's a Christmas gift for you. That's a wrap present for you because now you know now you can operate differently. And how you react to it is key, as, as Sean said. How you react to finding those things out, you know, and it isn't always something as crazy as you know, cheating, you know, or something like that. So you can find out your girl been skimming money off the top of your business. I'm sure that would um <laughs> have a very emotional response <laughs> out of you then, you know. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> so like as a as a man, as a man, mm -hmm. when you find those things out, be measured, be logical, no emotion. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a TikTok that I am trying to find. If I find this TikTok, I'm going to show you um, a man, and he was measured in his response to finding out his girlfriend was cheating on Christmas. Okay, she was cheating with a coworker. Mm. And so if I could find this TikTok, man, this will be really, really good. So, but um, I think I see. Hold on. Let me see. No. Oh, no. This other people's like reaction in it. Don't worry. I'm going to find it. But anyway, his his response to it was a it, he was measured. He was like he was like uh, what he did was Sean is funny. He wrapped her presence. Um, it, it was her things, it was her belongings, and he wrapped her belongings under the tree. So when she started to unwrap the gifts, she's like, This is my stuff, what, what's, what's going on? And then he go into it about her co worker, and of course, you know what she do? Who, who, uh, oh, him, oh, you know, my bro, my my bro, my my my, co my co worker, my this, my that, yeah, you right. know him, you know, yeah, he got a girlfriend, blah blah blah. He's like, Well, do you, does his girlfriend know what you and him have been doing? And of course. Her reaction is, um, uh, well, uh, she she just keeps lying to the end, man. Lying to the end. It's, right. it's, it's hilarious. Oh, I found it. Yes, sir. Oh, Let's shit. go. 
Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. So let me, let me get your reaction off of this, Sean, and then we'll get back into it. Right, right. Let's see. Share system audio. Chrome. There we go. So check this out. Yes. Cheated on me on Christmas, so I did this. Cause this my stuff. Yeah, this yeah, my. Yeah, yeah, get the f- out. What? Get the f- out. Get your f- and get the. F- no way. Get the f- who, who Zoe? Who? Zoe. I don't know. Zoe, you f- stop playing that. The dude already showed me the messages. I'm, I'm on it. Let's I don't real. know Zoe. What are you talking about? You don't know Zoe. So if I hit him up, you, you not gonna know. My coworker. Oh, yeah, now, now you know. Yeah. You know him. You you been around so that's my coworker. That's like my friend. That's like my partner. I, I know his girlfriend. Yeah, we know his girlfriend. Know that you. <laughs> Leave your girlfriend. Know he fuck your your partner. Hold on, cool. My brother, like my bro. That's me. See, I know how they get. Just, just, it's cool. I'm not tripping. Just get out. Like you, 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 you're gonna thing. go by with somebody get else. Get your here. things and get the fuck out, please. You going? You're going to do this on Christmas Eve. Mm, mm. Seeing it, see, you see how insensitive that was? Right, 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 right. I mean, oh, I might get a copyright for that. Um, <laughs> you see how insensitive that was? Right. I mean, dude, she, the, the, her, the, 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 her standing, she's like, well, what do you mean? Oh, oh, Zoe? Oh, yeah, I know who Zoe is. Okay, you you playing games because you know exactly who Zoe is from the beginning when you ask who is Zoe. That's first and foremost. You're lying right there. Mm-hmm. Then secondly, you're talking about, oh, my bro. Your, your bro. Oh, what's up, Lynn? I appreciate you for watching, bro. He said, that's, Lynn said, that's crazy. Oh, that's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, little brother? Hey, hey, that's that's crazy, Lynn. Isn't that crazy? But look <laughs> look what he, he found out. I'm sure it had been going on. You know, we, right. we always I try to preach to young men. One of the things is it's not it's, there's nothing you can do in that situation as a man. To change what she did there's not because right. you could be the best man you could be providing everything she could just be bored because stability is boring so she could just be bored and want right. to deal with other guys at that point it, you got to release it back to the streets you have to right 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 but i'm gonna play devil's advocate for a second okay so um now let's say if it was a it was, I'm, uh, male or, or female, mm-hmm. I probably would have listened if she would have came clean. You know what I'm yes. saying? It'll mm-hmm. it it'll, it'll probably further piss me off when I got all the evidence and you continually you continuously lying. Okay? Lisa Reed just said what you said. She said so, so disrespectful when they don't c- come clean about their mess. Right, because now when she comes clean. <sighs> about the situation now it changes the dynamic of the conversation am i still gonna be pissed hell yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying but being an ex compulsive liar like i used to lie all the time i have done that and what yeah. has happened it has further pissed the person off like sean yes. you gonna stick sean it, it, sean i got seriously sean you gonna continuously lie i'm like well you know then I want to come clean. Then I want to come clean after I didn't lie. You once you caught, it's best to just be like, you know what? I effed up. Yeah. Now you are admitting to doing wrong. It changes the dyna- dynamics of the conversation. Now, some people feel mm, some people feel as if, you know, you got to punish people when they do wrong. You got to punish them. Oh, you got to distance yourself. You got the you got to pull back your investment. You got to, you know, pull back because this person is showing you a different side of whatever the case may be. To each their own. Yeah. But when that person comes clean, when you have caught them, in some cases, depending on who the, who the person is, you know, it, it may change the dynamic of that conversation in a positive way where that person may or may not get a chance to redeem themselves. There's a lot of people out here 
uh, I used to be one of them that didn't believe in second chances. And I'm going to yeah. tell you why. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell the whole world why. I, I, I totally changed that. When my mother broke down uh, about, you know, forgiving people, like people say, oh, Sean, you can forgive and forget. I'm like, dude, that's not true forgiveness. You sound like an idiot. So my mother broke down what true forgiveness is. True forgiveness is never to bring up the issue ever again. You're not holding yeah. it, dangling over the person's head like a mistletoe. You're yeah. not using it as uh, ammunition or to fire back. Sometimes when things go wrong between people, whether it's in business or it's in relationships, people like to dangle that carrot. And now it's becoming, now that wrong act, you are becoming manipulative. To, you're manipulating the situation yeah. to your advantage. And that is wrong within itself. So me, my mother always told me, Sean, forgive quick, leave it alone, have the conversation. Once you wash your hands with that conversation, just throw it away. A lot of people can't do that because people have a problem with this thing that called the heart that they just can't get past something. And I get that. We all are human or whatever. To each his own, handle the situation, you know, how you want to handle it. But the way my mom broke it down to me, man, it made me feel, I was like, I was, you know, you be angry and she, the way she broke it down, she, she broke, my mom broke it down from the biblical sense. And I had a leg, I didn't have no leg to stand on B. She was like, mm -hmm. okay, think about this, Sean. Think about this. She said, we all mess up in some form pretty much every day. We disappoint, yeah. we disappoint one person every day of our lives in some yeah. shape, form, or fashion. And he gives us chances every single day. At the time, I did, she said, you don't want to hear this, but let it marinate for a little while. And after I thought about it, and I thought about it, now, now B, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't change, I didn't change my stripes just yet. It took me years of maturity and getting older and going through things in life and realizing, she's like, well, Sean, you know what? Have you ever messed up? Have you ever made a mistake? Have you ever compromised yourself and compromised the relationship? Have you got yourself in a situation that you never, ever thought that you would be in? And you're like, mm -hmm. what in the world? How in the world did I get in this situation? So you got to really think about that. And here's the thing. She said a lot of people cut off blessings and things that they could have because of stuff they refuse to let go that's in here. And yeah. forgiveness, a lot of people struggle with that. A lot of people struggle with, I mean, a lot of people struggle with that. People think, listen, perfect relationships ain't real and real relationships ain't perfect. There is some, let me tell you something, as long as we live this life, there's going to be some bullshit going on in some form. I mean, yeah. just be real. Let me just put it out there. A lot of people aren't uh, open-minded to redemption, change. Our society ain't even open-minded to redemption, B. A man could go to yeah. jail for 20 years, serve, do, do, lose everything, pay his debt to society, and he can't do a damn near a damn thing when he get out after he didn't, he, he didn't messed up, they didn't took away his freedom. He can he can barely come out here and get a job pretty much at freaking McDonald's, and he probably got a PhD in something. Yeah, the world don't even the, the world be like, and, and, and it, it, oh, oh, really? You know, the world don't so world world the world stop lying. Y'all don't believe in second chances. Yeah, no, no, no. because if you if you did, you wouldn't be holding a man who did something wrong in 1970, and it's 2021, mm -hmm. and that dude's still paying for it. You know, took away his right to vote. You know, took away everything, and he didn't pay the debt. Yeah, he didn't pay the debt. See, when you flip the things, and, and this is what I tell, try to tell people to think. Think before you speak. Think before you judge. You never know what situation you may get into. And when my mom broke it down, she said, baby, be very, very slow to judge people. Don't. She said, it's best not to judge, period. She said, yeah. because, boy, when that spot leg get on you, it's real hot. And mm -hmm. then you see how it feels when you can't get a chance to redeem yourself. And people shoot themselves in the foot all the time with that. You know what? You do this, I'm done. You do this, I'm done. I'm, do I'm like, well, dog, dude, can we talk about it? You can, I have made one mistake with people and they were just done. Yeah. Been, been damn near perfect. 
one mistake, ah, buddy, you're out of here. I was like, God dang. So in my mind, I'm like, I didn't have nothing anyway. So I kind of dodged a bullet that I didn't marry that person. Or I didn't, you know, I broke off that engagement. And just like the topic say, be better lo- better late than lost. Sometimes, man, it's a, it's a blessing that you dodge some bullets with people. Because yeah, it is. it's hard to be with any man or woman who's judgmental or unforgiving, man. Because listen, I don't walk on water. Don't put me on no pedestal. Please don't put mm-hmm. me on the pedestal. I don't walk on water. I didn't. I, I wasn't nailed on the cross on the right side of uh, Jesus when he was up there. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I, don't put me on that. There was only there was a. And I had this conversation just yesterday. There was a man who walked this earth thirty three years and struggled. Yeah. Don't put that. Don't put that on me. No, please. I'm struck. I struggle every day. If that dude struggle, you think I ain't gonna struggle? That's the reality, false reality that everybody lives in, man. They live in a world of fantasy. Bro, this ain't fairy tale. This is real life stuff. People get caught up. But yeah. if a person shows remorse, man, you need to really listen to that person opposed to a person. Now, if a person don't show no remorse, they don't give a damn about you, period. You yeah. need to just walk away from that because they don't care how you feel. They not even saying, I'm sorry, I, I apologize. What can I do? You know, you know, do the key sweat thing, baby. Please, baby, 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 please. I mean, nothing. But it it it, it opens up a whole dynamics. Depends on how that conversation goes, especially if the person admits it. Be yeah, of course. So uh, forgiveness is not for the person who did you wrong. Forgiveness is for you. Yes, Robin yes. Brooks. That is very, true. very true. That is true. very, very true. 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 You know, and you know, better late than lost. That can go into you know other facets of life like for me for me personally example for my personal example i was on the path of nothingness stagnation complacency right. i was like wrapped in a cocoon man i had uh wasn't achieving anything i had gained weight and the path i was on was a very good path in my opinion you know and once i seemingly woke up you know and figured out okay like okay this isn't what I want to do. This isn't the path I want to go down. And I started to do 180, change my life completely. Now, right. this is late. Of course, this is late because this is this is 30. This is late. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it happened then than to happen way down the line or to not happen at all. Because I see people who are stuck in the loop that I was stuck in. And they're doing the exact same thing they were doing 20 years ago. Mm. It's just it's, that's just what it is. They mm. haven't got, they haven't left their little mm. area that they were in. They mm. haven't achieved anything. They still at the same job. They still right. talking to the same people. They're still right. doing the same things. You know, right. they're not advancing. They're not growing, and they're not learning. You know, mm. now that I know what I know, no, dude, I am a knowledge hound. I want to pick <laughs> up skills now, man. I told my mom last night. Hey, we don't work on, we don't do some, we don't, I got projects at her home and little stuff and work on here and there. I said, but I'm going to take that time to figure out what blue collar skill I want to pick up. Whether I want to do carpentry, whether I want to do plumbing, whether I'm going to do electricity, whatever it is, I'm going to find out by working on the house, you know, and I want, I want that knowledge. I want I'm knowledge, seeking knowledge, seeking to better myself. But what if I never got there? What if Brandon never woke up? What if Brandon is still at my mother's house? What if Brandon mm. is still um, uh, uh, pre-diabetic? You know what then? You know, uh, I'd rather I'd rather figure it out. Have that mirror tell me the butt naked truth because it doesn't lie. It does, mm. man. That mirror does not lie at all. That mirror cold blooded, baby. It's cold blooded. Cold, cold blooded, man. <laughs> And so now I know yeah. what I know. Now that right. I figured that out, right. you know, I, dude, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. It's like you say, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to figure it out. That's that's one of the things in life. One of the toughest things in life to figure out. Why are you here? What's your purpose? Right. Uh, what is your job? What do you want to do? What are you good at? You know, what's your passion? Finding right. out those things and getting to those 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 are some of the hardest things because you got people now, man. They haven't settled on anything. They just they'll start something and they'll never finish it and they'll move on to the next thing. 
Wow, bro, you touching on something real right there, bro. Bro, I, that was that that was dope. That was dope. Appreciate that. Let's see how we are all going to make mistakes, but you can love your partner through anything. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can love yeah. them through, love them through anything. Yeah, right. and and as far as the mistakes, uh oh, let's see, let's see. It's not time that makes us better. Uh, it's truth. Oh man, Lynn. oh man. See, yeah. now I'm gonna pick it back off what my brother just said. So when. When my when my mother passed in December of 2018, I went through. It's like when she died, I died. There was mm -hmm. a part of me, I would say 90 percent of me. Died with her, I had to reinvent myself and my thought process just to cope. And when I went through that certain period, I've, I, re, I, I it, it was like I was hearing a voice. And I know this big man upstairs was like, I don't want you to start, I don't want you to depend on nobody but me, just depend on me. And I, and I outright told yeah. him, my response was, man, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this right now. Yeah. So he said, I need you to depend on me, rely on me. I'm going to take care of you. I ain't going to never let you down. I ain't never going to betray you. I'm never going to scandalize your name in the street. I'm never going to make you look bad. I'm always going to have you back. your back. I'm going to be there for you 24-7. So my thing about it, he said, but you need to make some changes. What I want you to do, I want you to start being 100% transparent, whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. You're doing it for you because, Sean, you have lied so much throughout the course of your life. You have lied to save people's feelings. You have lied to appease people. You have lied to uh, protect people. You've done all these things when it comes to the lying. So now, and this is true fact, now that I've changed. I love the I love the title B because it 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 matches what I'm saying perfectly. Better late than lost because I was I was on the verge of being lost because brother couldn't stop lying. So yeah. when my mother passed, I stopped caring what everybody thinks because I went through a period in my life, a dark period in my life, that nobody gave a damn about what I was going through at that time. I was getting out the, the plat platitudes constantly and stuff like that. I'm like, no, no, no. The people I thought that was going to be there for me throughout that dark time bailed on me, threw me away like Alabama trash. So I started being 100 percent transparent. And what I found out, because he said what he told me, once you start being 100 percent real, you're going to weed out all the fakes. You're going to weed yeah. out all the people that I don't want in your life on purpose. And he and when I tell you between my mom dying in December 2018, my uncle dying in March of 2019, my aunt dying in December of 2019, three deaths is within a year. I've lost so many people that I thought that was for me. But now, even people that have known me, they can't handle my transparency. They can't handle that truth. Every time I tell them something, they, 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 they just can't deal with it. And I, all I do is look at them. I was like, you know what? You hated me when I'm lying. You hate me still when I tell you the truth. And he and and the, the voice came again. He mm -hmm. said, "You they ain't gonna be happy when you lie to them, and they ain't gonna be happy when you tell them the truth." So I what I want you to truth. worry about, I want you to worry about what I think about, and I mm -hmm. want you to be a hundred percent transparency every day in your posts, in your videos, in conversations, how you live, who you talk to on a daily basis. They got one or two choices. They either can deal with the real man in his truth and in his purpose, or they can choose to walk away to the fakes. Here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Real people don't have a lot of friends. They just don't. Mm -hmm. People in their truth don't have a lot of friends, and they don't have a big circle. Fake people yeah. got a lot of people in their circle, a whole lot. I'm not, if I got to lie to you for you to love me, for you to be there for me, for me to support me, for you to be my friend, it ain't worth it to me because I did that for too many years. All you getting is 100% truth, like 100%, like 100% alcohol, 100% proof, no chase. You either gonna yeah. swallow it, you're like, no, Sean, I don't want this drink. But you do have options. 
Yeah. But I'm not going to force you to be somewhere you don't want to be. I ain't going to force you to be my woman. I ain't going to force you to be my friend. I ain't going to force you to be there for me. I ain't going to force you to be a client. You do what you want to. Why? People say, Sean, why you like that? Why you like that? I say, the big man upstairs gives us free will. I live by that same code. I don't take, I ain't taking no, I don't want no prisoners. I want people to be there for me because they choose to be genuinely. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So for all you people out here, who are worried about public perception, if you really want to know what true freedom is, start being 100% transparent so you can see what that feels like. And when I tell you it's a huge weight to lift off your shoulder, I ain't got to worry about what I said yesterday. I ain't got to worry about no more what I said last week. Yeah. I ain't got to worry about no more what I said last month. Dude, what I told you is what it is. You can believe it or not, but there is no man, no woman, no girl, no boy, no situation, no circumstance that's worth me lying for. It's just not yeah. It's true. See, Lisa Reese says, when God removes people from your life, he's making room for something better, even though it's painful. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Snatching it. He's, hey, he's, he, he's going to tear asunder the very thing that you're building. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's, that's just what it is. That's real. You know, that's I'm real. sitting at work one day and sitting there. It's quiet. And I heard, it's time to go. I say, huh? What, what, what are you talking about? It's time to go. It's time to go. You need to start right, plotting your right, escape. Right, right. It's time right. to go. It's, it's time to start um, transitioning and figuring out what the next step is, what you want to do. But this place, this, this, this place got to go. Mm. Got to go. Got to go. Mm. Now, not to do anything rash and just drop it like a bad habit. No, but it's time to go. The longer right. you stay here, less happy you're going to be. I mean, it, it's it, that's just that's just what it is. You know, and it's something about four years. I brought up to my sister, man. It's something about four years, man. I was at, I've been at my current job four years, and I was at a previous job four years, um, and I was in a relationship previously for four years. Mm -hmm. And at around the end of those four years, each each time I was like, someone's like, it's time to go. It's it's it, it, it it's time to end it. So I say, hmm. I say that's that, that that's very interesting. I don't, and I don't know all my biblical folks and whatnot can, uh, and my people who read dreams and y'all can tell me stuff about the numbers and all of that, you know, because they people be knowing stuff like that because yeah, it, right, it, right. it may signify something. I don't know, you know, but it was clear as day, Sean. It was clear as day. Hey, it's it's time to go. It's it's been it's been long enough time, and just mm. be be thankful when you get those wake up calls, man. Because like right. I said, everybody don't get those wake up calls, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of people stay stuck in the same loop over and over and over again. Right now, you watching this, you, you right there, you sitting right here watching this, um, you're stuck in the loop right now. Whether oh, it's yeah. professionally, it's in a relationship, hey, you stuck in the loop with your kids, you stuck in the loop with family, and you just can't, you just can't seem to get out. Easiest right. thing to do is drop it, drop it and walk away from it. If it don't, it don't serve you no more. Drop it and walk sure. away from it, man. That's it, man. That is it. That is it, bro. Dude, I love this topic. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and one thing you said, Sean, you say we're living in that truth. It's going to separate. Um, it's going to basically bring out the real people in your life, and that's true too. Because right. I always tell you, like, I always tell tell guys, man, whether you lie, whether you tell the truth, they're still going to hate you. It's still oh, not yeah. gonna like you. I mean, it's really not gonna matter which one that you do. But right. like you said, like for me, I have a matter of fact, another young man uh last night who I saw uh, one of my brother's former teammates who watches me. I got a lot of young guys watch me, man, and they'll they'll tune in from time to time. And so I try to get them a um a good message and knowing them personally, um, uh, whether it was from coaching football or just knowing them, you know, uh, growing up or whatnot. Right. always try to live authentically you know mm. i want them to be able to say you know be kept it real with me he told me the truth you know and everything that he talked about he lived it himself that's all mm. i want mm. that's all i want because then i'll be an example you know right and, you know and because it's, it's so many sean it's so many people living fake lifestyles man oh man <laughs> I I didn't realize it until I got older, man. I didn't know. Bruh. I had no idea, man. I thought Bruh. I thought this person was rich. 
I thought this person had an island. I thought this person <laughs> had all the baddies. I thought this person had all the money. I thought this person's mm-hmm. life was great. You know, what? whatever. Whatever I thought about said person. Get older, right. like, I thought you had some rents, but there's some regular old saltines over here that you got here, buddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, stop calling me out. Oh, we got to call it out today, <laughs> We, we gotta call it out because we calling out we calling ourselves out. We called we ourselves call out. out. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> you gotta call yourself out, man. You got to, yeah. man. You got to, mm-hmm. man. So and but that but that I, I tell you what, man, uh it's just so it just feels so good when you can just be yourself and uh be confident in the skin that you're living in. I mean, yeah. because man, you 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 don't have to do nothing for show. You know, um, you ain't got to be flashy. You could just you could just be yourself, man. And pretending is too much work. Trying yeah. to be, t- you know, because for years I, I was pretending to be something that I wasn't. And it was it was it was so much work. Now I'm like, what you see is what you get, man. This, this is it. I said, dude, I'm done with impressing. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with the trying to show off and trying to please everybody. Because, man, whether they just, just like you said, B. It yeah. doesn't matter what you do. They going they got something to say. It, they, they, and not everybody's gonna like you. I'm like, yep. you doing? A lot of people are doing things just to be like and just to be accepted. Man, just accept yourself. Do you, you just accept yourself? Because when you are in your truth, the real people are going to gravitate towards you. You don't want fake people in your camp in your circle man you know it's not the strangers you got to worry about it's the people that's closest to you you got to worry about those are the people that's going that's going to hurt you the, the, that, that's going to you know pretty much hurt you the most because you think they got your back you think they they're there for you yeah you know you worrying yeah. about strangers in the street they really don't care nothing about you but yeah. you, you see it's you have to be always mindful of the company that you keep yeah 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 i mean mm. yeah oh yeah so hey i i gotta i gotta show everybody this video because this is something <laughs> i showed sean and you know hey this has some language in it people so for my people watching you watching it on loud oh that's and that, that's my dude me. you gonna show up yes, dude. Dude. i gotta show it dog i gotta show it i gotta you got show, to show it because please show it it, it to goes the it goes with everything that we've been talking about about putting right. on for people and living fake lives and chasing clouded things like that, man. So we gotta, I gotta, dude. This is powerful right here. He doing some cursing, but it's powerful. So you got, you gotta listen to this, y'all. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Here we go. <laughs> and this is this is the the beginning part of it, Sean. I didn't see, so, oh. so we gonna get a little a little uh, the beginning of it. We came in on the meat of it. So let's see. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. $100,000 change, so I'm really on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? What you doing, bro? I know your shit's fake. It's like I got the diamond tech. Let's see if your shit really dance like Chris Brown, nigga. That shit ain't about nothing. You trying to play me? Watch this. You're trying to hilarious, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Better go in. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm pinning it on the diamond. You can charge your battery all the way. Bro. Nah, nigga. You just, <laughs> mm-hmm. you just ain't charge it, bro. Look. Let me see. Look. Here we go. You shit fake, nigga. You don't got it. You do not have it. Stop pinning on the persona for these niggas out here. You don't got it. <laughs> the fuck I'm talking <laughs> Yo, <laughs> people. He said it best. He said it vulgar like, but he said it best. You don't have it. You, ain't got, you it, don't got it. You don't have it. So stop putting on a persona for these ninjas out here. Please. Please stop. Please. You don't live like that. You don't have it. You, you don't, don't got, got it. it. You have <laughs> higher straights. Your bank account in the negative. You got bills to do. You got kids to feed. Right, right. You, you hey, hey, you you got you you got baby mamas that need their child support money. So you need to get back to work. You don't have it. Okay. 
You don't <laughs> got it like that. <laughs> See, Lynn laughing. <laughs> he, he ain't got it like that, Lynn. He don't. You know, he, he jokes be out here putting on airs, man. Be putting on Put, airs. Putting on. <laughs> putting on. Shoot, you want to talk about better late than lost? Figuring out, figuring out that that, that your way ain't working. That that's better late than lost. <laughs> figuring out your way isn't working. It's time. To, it's time to start some starting it. It, it is. It is, man. It is. Man. It is. It is, man. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, it's, it it reminds me of. My- <laughs> It reminds me of the post, man. You know, I was having a conversation with a friend earlier, you know, about my past. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got people in the streets, people that got the trouble. And then you got guys who be, you know, you got people be, they, they, <laughs> there, there's a saying. And, and, I, and I love the saying. And this, this, this is pretty much pertaining to dudes, women, you know, listen. Please stop pretending to be street when you know you about that sidewalk life. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. I, I be telling dudes, I be like, dude, check my police record, dude. <laughs> I ain't got to put on no ass for you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't got to put, I ain't got a lot, I ain't got a lot of you. You doing too much. You know, you, you, you was, you was a talker, you know, yeah. or dudes who be going in. Oh, but we gonna get into that. I don't want to talk about that because we and y'all excuse my French, but we got a podcast tomorrow about the signs of, in the words of my 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 favorite one of my favorite comedians of all time. I love what he said it, and when he said it, I lost ah. it. And what I love about Dave Chappelle, he don't put on no airs. He giving it straight up with no chaser, and I agree with him. A billion percent. The world then turned into a bunch of bitch ass niggas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Truth. That truth. is true. That's that is truth. truth. It's it, and true. period. And and when I say that word, I don't matter. It 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 it, it applies to all races, all it, all colors, all creeds, males mm-hmm. and females. The yes. world has turned into a bunch of bitch ass niggas. So yeah. please check out that podcast tomorrow because we are completely breaking it down to it is utterly broken about yeah. those types. And I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait till we have that podcast tomorrow night. Oh, please. man. Yeah, for sure. Because, <laughs> dude, right. you got to know, people, hey, right. there are real sharks and um, killer whales out here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Top dogs in the ocean. That's right, right, right. You a guppy. Let's, right. Let's, let's keep it real. You yep. guppy. Stop. Koi fish. Stop it. Stop. Gold. Just some of y'all goldfish. Mm-hmm. Very Just shiny. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looking, looking, looking very glittery. <laughs> yes, looking very glittery. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but all but just, the glitters. Yeah. <laughs> ain't mm-hmm. ain't gold like grandma used to say. <laughs> yes, man. Man, that's fugazi like a bug. <laughs> Fake and then, is, man. And, 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 and you, when you see it, you ain't even got an expound on it. I just chuckle and keep it moving. I ain't yeah. commenting. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just chuckling and keep it. Man, I, I, I smelt you. I smelt you when I woke up this morning. I smelt your fugaziness when I woke up this morning. All the way from the north side, south side, east side, west side. <laughs> Stop it, man. Yes. You just need to stop. Ladies, stop it. Men, stop it. You, you, yeah. you, 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 you're not about that. You come on now. You you you're not about that. Just stop. It, it yeah. life will be so much easier if you just be truthful about who you are. You yes. know what I'm saying? You know, dudes, if you just want to smash the chip, just say you want to smash from the beginning and just keep it moving. Don't. Don't don't sell it with the pipe dreams. I done done it. All yeah. you're doing is waking up those feelings that was dead in her. You didn't got her hopes and dreams and all that stuff alive. And all you wanted to do was smash. And then you go yeah. ghost. How about just saying that at the beginning? You yeah. know, it would it it would be. I think I saw a commercial. I don't know if I saw a commercial, but wouldn't it? How would the world be 
if everybody was truthfully honest mm. in everything. Mm. Can you imagine that, B? We'd be it'd be a different place, man. Ooh, baby, it'd be a different place. baby, baby, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a different, different place, man. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa Reese said, if they talking about it, they not about their life. Yeah, I, I said that. I always say that too. I was like, the real gangsters, the real thugs, the real G's. They're not on podcasts talking about being real G's. <laughs> right, right. You know, I got, I got, I got goons. I, I, uh, 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 I, my goons I got, got goons. You, my goons got goons. <laughs> Man, yeah. sit your ass down. <laughs> yes. Please sit down. Man, stop that. Man, stop. Just stop. Please be your, stop that. Be, be yourself. Just be yes. yourself. Please be yourself. <laughs> Please be yourself. Ain't seen a jail. Ain't been inside a jail. Ain't been nowhere. Ain't even passed by a jail. Talk about no. you. <laughs> Talk about you got street cred. <laughs> sit your ass down. <laughs> They be killing hey, me, like, man. They be killing that's me, like, dog. They be that's killing like, Sean, me. I, I, I used to be a um, a um, a visitor to uh, Washington Heights on a regular basis. I think I told you about that, right? <laughs> so Washington Heights was a place, you know, right next to Ken Knight. was a place that I was in all the time. Of course, I was over there right, seeing the uh, young lady, you know, a, as uh, Laura Hill say, flipping in the ghetto on the dirty mattress. Yes, that was me. I was part of that crew. <laughs> you know, lucky to come out of without any kids because you know I was wilding out, but you know, it is what it is. Blessed by an angel. I, yeah, <laughs> for sure. But while I was in there, I would go in there like every day. I'd be in there right, every right, day right, right, going right. to her home. And the dude, dudes that were in there, they, you know, from time to time, you know, stuff would pop off with dudes coming in there every day because they would watch them, they would see what you're wearing, what you got. And some right. of them may try you, but mm -hmm. what saved me was the fact that I knew a lot of people that were already over there. So right. the dudes who might want to do something, they'll see me talking to somebody who they're cool with, and he's like, yo, who that is? Like, oh, yeah, that's B. I know him. You know, he cool people. You know, and that's how I got through that time. Right. Now, I don't go, I didn't come out of that thinking, oh, I got street cred. You know, these niggas know who I am, dog. I come through. I'm like, I'm like Big Meech. I'm like Larry Hoover in here. Hey, hey, hey. You know, it is. Put the work. Hallelujah. One yes. nation. <laughs> yes. Right. I'm thinking I'm Rick Ross the ball coming up. No, that's not what I did. I was like, hmm, I got lucky. Oh man. Oh, I got lucky. None man. of them, none of them uh felt the need to do anything to me because I wasn't right. holding nothing. So whatever they wanted, they would have got it. I just got lucky. But right, you got dudes right. who do that, and they were like, "Yeah, man, sure, I'm from Sherwood. I'm Grand Paul. I'm this. I'm that." Okay, you are gonna get stomped out like the person from Pontevedra. So, what does that mean? It's like what does that mean? It's it's, it's 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 like it's like it's like it's just like going to jail, man. You go in there, you go in, you come to the jail talking all that noise. Oh, you know, yeah. money hard. Oh, money hard. Money later on, but later on, <laughs> <laughs> later on in the in the midnight hour, <laughs> money ain't so hard. <laughs> right. Hey man, I'm clowning, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, he coming to you for protection. <laughs> Once the lights go out. And willing to pay whatever the cost is for said protection. Yeah. So not forget that it is best. Let me let let me look a little a little a little advice. If you ever get in that, if you ever get in that clink, just go in there quiet. Because there people don't know how to read you. They don't know how to read you. Just go in there quiet. Don't be going in there. Ain't gonna be nothing in here. I, I I'm from here. Okay, money. <laughs> We got you, B. We, we don't worry. We'll see you later. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. That sometimes it's not, you know. Uh, yeah. For I didn't. Sure, I didn't. Sure, I didn't, so. I didn't see them. I didn't see them get it, boy. Didn't oh, for sure, for it. sure. Yes, sir. Hey, we at fifty. Oh, this is a great place to wrap up right here. Keep we kept it under an hour, so I, I think that's good. You know, yeah. B. I we getting B. B. We getting better and better uh, with our time, oh. man. So sure. Now tomorrow, sure. I mean, tomorrow night, B, we probably gonna. Go oh yeah, we well, got you. Got to let the conversation go how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to let it flow how it flow. You got to let it flow how it flow tomorrow. That's right, man. That's yeah, right. Sure, That's right. Sure. That's so, right. What's up? So let's get our final thoughts on this before we wrap that up, sir. 
Um, my final thoughts on this, better late than lost. It's, you know, you have to, everybody have to do a, a, a self-examination of oneself. Everybody got to do a gut check of themselves of where you are, yeah. you know. Um, you know, you know, I, I was taught as you get older, you don't get dumber, you get wiser. You know, you start moving differently based off of the experiences and things that that has transpired in your life or in your past. You 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 go from I, I heard my grandmother used to say, you got to go from when you're young, you're playing checkers. But at some point and you got to go and get to that that place of playing chess. That means you start moving a little bit more strategically. You start being a more observant. And I, I wrote a post about my son. I was just talking to him and I was like, a man in this purpose observes before he moves and he adjusts accordingly. As you get older, for the young men out here, as you get as, as you guys get older, I'm talking to the young dudes right now. As you get older, what you thought at 30, I mean, what you thought at 20, you're not going to think at 30. What you think at 40, you're not going to you're not going to think as you thought as 20. As you get older, you start thinking differently. You start moving yeah. more strategically. Yeah. But until you be your true, authentic self. Mm -hmm. There is no room for growth for you. Yeah. You, you have to eat. It's either you're succumbing to what society wants you to be, or you are molding yourself into the man you need to be. Yeah. You know, as you get older, you got to some, some of them childish ways, you just got to cut loose. You know, um, a true leader, a true leader from what I was taught, a true leader has to be man enough to stand alone if need be. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Because a lot of moves you make, a lot of people are not going to be on a ride with you. But you have to be, just be in your butt naked truth at all times, man. A person can respect you. They may be upset with you. They may think that what you say is a little harsh or <clears throat> maybe in a little brash, but at the end of the day, People ain't got to guess what angle you coming from. They know you coming yeah. straight in, straight at them with that truth. People just 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 live in your total 100% transparency, man. You'll be you'll be better for it long term. For sure, for sure, man. Uh, that was good. Um, one of my favorite um, sayings was by um, rapper KRS-One, a brother who I did not know was as intellectual as he is until oh, you know so deep years so ago. Deep. Mm. And um, he seen him talking um, on this uh, movie called Hidden Colors, and he was talking about, you know, how do you fix it? Um, one of the things you can do as a man is govern yourself. He said, <laughs> govern yourself and govern your family and then link up with men who are going the same direction that you're going. Because one of the downfalls, especially of black men, is that you link up with men who are not going the same direction that you're going, you know, right. and. One thing they want that's one thing they say. They say if you hang out with four broke people, you're gonna be the fifth. That's just what it is. You want your, your circle to be doing as good as you or better. You want your circle to be doing better. You know, you hang they say you hang around four millionaires, you may end up being the fifth, you know. Mm. So, mm. you know, um apply that. And as far as better late than loss, when you find out things that are happening, especially once you start to govern yourself and you start to move strategically, you'll start to see things mm -hmm. a lot faster. You know, right. you, and once you see things a lot faster, you dictate what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept. You know, especially for my young guys, man. It is, I understand it's a grind. You want it now. The money, the, the <coughs> money holes and clothes. You want that now. You want the, the clout, the lifestyle, the, the car, the clothes, all of that. You want all of that now. But it takes time. You have to build it. But along that way, you're going to have some missteps. And then those missteps, as long as you can correct those missteps as quickly as possible, keep it moving because you, you, you're going to have those missteps. Figuring mm -hmm. out what it is very quickly and correcting the behavior or correcting the situation. 
You know, right. don't let things fester, man. When you ignore it, trust me, I, I've done that all in my youth. Ignore things. Mm. I'm paying for mm. it right now. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. paying for it right mm -hmm. now. Don't mm -hmm. ignore it. No matter how small it is, do right. not ignore it because it'll right. sneak up on you and you'll be like, oh, man, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. No, it was always there. Mm -hmm. It was always there. These things are always there. Those are things that you have to look for from all your relationships, from family to friends, business, personal. It doesn't matter. Those little things, little things, you let little things fester, especially in relationships. In those relationships, you're going to have people are going to do things and you're going to see certain behaviors. If you're enamored with that person, you just let it go sometimes. Well, you got on those rose colored glasses. No, no, no. Right then and there, you got to call stuff out. You got to call it out, man. You have to, brother. You have to. Yeah. It's mandatory, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. Um, I will be back tomorrow on Sean's podcast. Let's see. Uh, Lynn say you have to pay attention to the details. Oh, man. Hey, Yay, kid, hey young man. Boy. Young man, <laughs> that fine print that comes with just about anything you purchase or buy, mm -hmm. there's a reason it's there. It's the mm -hmm. same with life. Pay attention to the mm -hmm. fine print. Pay attention to the details. You know, you got guys like like Sean and Lynn, the former military guys. They walk into somewhere, they scan it. What X is that? Who is that dude over here? Every Who is that dude over there. Everywhere I go, I don't sit with Head my to back toe. to the exit. And people always like, Sean, what you looking at? I said, dude, that's the military, I man. Dude, that ain't going nowhere. I mm -hmm. have to. You always have to have a sense of self awareness. Yes. Because if you don't, you gonna get got first. I can probably protect you. But they're gonna probably come at you first because you are un you 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 oblivious to what's going on. Always yeah. keep that keen sense of awareness in all areas of your life. That was a good point. Little brother, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother. Pay attention to the details. That was that was that was clutch. That was clutch. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure, man. Yeah. So we will be back tomorrow on Sean's podcast. I'll share it on mine. Make sure y'all tune in for that. What time? 705. 705. So be there for five that. The Check it out. Because I'm Check about to go in. We got another <laughs> guest um, going to be on with us. Uh, so, yeah. yes, please mm -hmm. check us out on that. Definitely. Follow Sean on all his social medias. Uh, Gwen's Boy Mindset. Follow him on TikTok, Twitter, uh, FIMP, TaylorMade Training for You, all of that, man. Yeah, and, and bro. Come, hey, <clears throat> drive that traffic to us, man, for sure. Drive that traffic yeah. to us. I yeah, appreciate it, to, man. We're trying to make some forward movement here, man. Man, hey, 2022, hey, hey, get ready. Just yeah. yes, get sir. ready, man. Yes, sir. Get ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get, yes, things are about to change, though. Things about to change for sure. Yeah, but buddy. I, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. I will be back on my podcast, I think Thursday. I think, yeah. Yeah, we got to talk about this Jaguars head coaching search because um, the Jaguars <laughs> announced they're keeping Trent Baalke. And uh, that's not going to go over well with the fan base. They're already revolting. So uh, I already know me and Mr. Reed is going to go in on that because he's had a chance to sit down and talk with Mr. Trent Baalke. And um, I know he has some thoughts on them retaining him. So tune in for that. Man, what 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 a date. What, man, when it comes to the Jaguars, in the words of Cedric the Entertainer, what are we going to do? I mean, what what I mean, man, the Jags are in trouble. They are. Shotgun doesn't know what he's doing. It is I, what I, it is. I, I don't get it, man. So much potential. Yeah. I mean, For golly. Sure. Yeah. Man. Uh, yeah, man. But hey, man, right, that bro. is it, man. I appreciate y'all yeah. for tuning in. We are out of here. Peace, Peace out, y'all.